हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू क्रिएटिव मेडिसिन इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल लर्न अबाउट क्वेश्चन ए पेशेंट विथ क्रॉनिक एंगल क्लोजर ग्लॉकोमा सॉरी ओपन एंगल ग्लॉकोमा इज ट्रीटेड विथ टॉपिकल ऑफ्थैलमिक बीटा ब्लॉकर which of the following is the most likely mechanism beta blocker will decrease the aqueous humor synthesis question which is the muscarinic receptor blocker which is the muscarinic receptor blocker that is administered by inhalation and this muscarinic receptor blocker which is administered by inhalation causes bronchodilatation in a patient with copd so which muscarinic receptor blocker causes bronchodilatation in copd it is actually ipratropium and tiotropium are the muscarinic receptor blockers which cause bronchodilatation in copd question 10 year old boy will show hyperactivity and he is unable to focus on his school school work he is unable to focus on his school work which of the following drugs will improve uh, will prove the effect in relieving the main symptoms so hyperactivity and unable to focus on his school work it is a diagnosis is autosomal dominant hyper hyper sorry uh, diagnosis is attention deficit hyperactivity disorder the treatment of attention deficit hyperactivity disorder is methylphenidate question we administer hexamethonium to the subject and while administering hexamethonium to the subject the subject is in supine position which of the following responses would you expect in response to this drug so hexamethonium what does hexamethonium cause hexamethonium will cause vasodilatation and thus it decreases the blood pressure then question propanolol is used in so propanolol it is a pgi mer question it is used in migraine prophylaxis of migraine we can use propanolol it is used in hypertension thyrotoxicosis it is used it is not used in variant angina question which of the following does not reduce the which of the following does not reduce preload preload is not reduced by preload preload is actually reduced by glycerol trinitrate or any nitrates will reduce the preload even nitroprusside will reduce the preload captopril also reduces the preload but not hydralazine hydralazine is a sympatholytic so it does not reduce the preload question which of the following drugs is not used topically for open angle glaucoma for open angle glaucoma the drug which is used orally or iv is acetazolamide is used it is not used topically acetazolamide is not used topically in open angle glaucoma question which of the following drug is associated with hemorrhagic stroke hemorrhagic stroke is mainly associated with phenylpropanolamine this phenylpropanolamine will cause hemorrhagic stroke and this phenylpropanolamine is banned because of the side effect of hemorrhagic stroke then question which of the following is an anti glaucoma medications which causes drowsiness anti glaucoma medication causing drowsiness is brimonidine brimonidine causes drowsiness so has a result it is contraindicated in infants because it can result in sleep apnea in infants so has a result it is contraindicated in infants due to this drowsiness question which of the following medications is contraindicated in patients with allergy to sulfonamide if the patient has allergy to sulfonamide then we should not use any sulfur sulfur derivatives any drugs which contain sulfur is not used so in the anti glaucoma drugs we have brinzolamide which is a 
sulfur derivative it is a carbonic anhydrase inhibitor which is a sulfonamide derivative so it is not used next question which of the following drugs is used in the prophylaxis of migraine for prophylaxis of migraine among the beta blockers propanolol can be used in the prophylaxis of migraine question sympathetic drugs which are useful in therapy of all of the following conditions except so sympathomimetic drugs sympathomimetic drugs are used in hypotension yes in acute decompensated heart failure we can use them and we can also use them in hypertension erectile dysfunction you will not use sympathomimetic drugs because they will aggravate the condition so sympathomimetic drugs are contraindicated in erectile dysfunction next selective alpha 1a blocker is selective alpha 1a blocker is tamsulosin beta 1 selective agonist is selective beta 1 agonist is dobutamine question which of the following are catecholamines catecholamines include epinephrine norepinephrine and dopamine are the catecholamines question botulinum toxin botulinum toxin produces skeletal muscle paralysis and this produces skeletal muscle paralysis mainly by inhibiting the release of acetylcholine question a child with beta 2 agonist for the treat sorry a child on beta 2 agonist for the treatment of bronchial asthma exhibit all of the following features except so a child of the um, beta 2 agonist in bronchial asthma so beta 2 agonist the side effect of beta 2 agonists are tremors are seen there can be hypokalemia can be seen and bronchodilatation is seen it will mask the hypoglycemia so it does not show the symptoms of hypoglycemia are not seen with beta 2 agonists it does not sorry beta blockers will mask the hypoglycemia beta blo blockers will mask the hypoglycemia not the beta 2 agonists question which one of the following drug does not produce central anticholinergic action okay central anticholinergic action is present in atropine sulfate it is present in antihistaminics and tricyclic antidepressants whereas glycopyrrolate has no central anticholinergic action and that is one of the reason why it is used in pre anesthetic medications then question which of the following condition phenyl ephrine is not used phenyl ephrine is not used in which of the following conditions phenyl ephrine can be used in midriasis it can be used in nasal congestion or anaphylactic shock also it can be used but phenyl ephrine is not used in ventricular tachycardia then question which of the following is m1 blocker m1 blocker is pyrenzepine is an m1 blocker question neostigmine is not used in neostigmine is a neostigmine is an acetylcholine esterase inhibitors so it is used in cobra bite along with the atropine it is used in curare poisoning or myasthenia gravis this neostigmine is not used in cholinergic crisis because in cholinergic crisis it occurs due to increased acetylcholine if you give neostigmine neostigmine itself increases the acetylcholine so this acetylcholine will become more and thus it precipitates the cholinergic crisis question long acting bronco which of the following are long acting bronchodilators long acting bronchodilators are salbutamol salmeterol terbutaline but adrenaline is not a long acting bronchodilator question sweating is reduced by sweating is reduced by atropine will reduce the sweating thank you and thank you for watching